What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And there's one thing about proportions that we have to know. It's the difference between part to part proportions and part to whole. If you can master this idea, proportions are gonna be super easy for you moving forward. So let's go ahead and tackle this problem. Just make sure to click that link right there and let's go ahead and party. So first things first, when it comes to every single word problem, what do we gotta do here? First step is always to read the question. If you wanna get better at word problems, start by looking at the goal. What is it that we wanna achieve? Because if we don't do that, then what's gonna happen? You're gonna start reading through information that you don't know what it's useful for, then you're gonna blank out, and then, yeah, we're gonna fail. So we don't want that. First step is, again, read the question. Right here it says, what is the total number of employees? Now I get this question a lot. I keep getting asked, okay, the whole if part, that's extra information, that's the information that they give you. That's the condition of the problem. That's not the actual question. The question is the who, what, when, where, why, how many, what's the following? So start there. So here it says, what is the total number of employees? So all right, cool. That's what we have, that's what we're looking for. Total number of employees. So we have to make sure we keep that in mind there because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and figure out what information is relevant to us to achieve this. So start with the goal. We just wanna know how many employees there are. Total, cool. What information are we given? We're given that there are 36 women working for the company. So right there, total number of employees, and we have 36 women. My ASVAB party people, hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. All right, great. Now, what else do we have? Another piece of information that we have that we're gonna to wanna to write down. Again, step two, write down all your given information. What we see here is the ratio of men to women. Men to women is three to two. Way too important here. The ratio of men to women is three to two. So how are we going to use that information? Well, I hope you can tell that this is a proportion problem because they tell us ratio right there. That's a dead giveaway, nice keyword for us. And then they also say, hey look, men to women, we have women looking for total. So with that said, let's write that down. We're gonna say men to women, right over here. That ratio is gonna be again, three to two. So we have three men for every two women. And we can write it like that, if, like that as a ratio if we want to. But long story short, this is all about setting up the proportion. So this is how we need to make sure we set things up. This is the key, the master key to proportions. It's this, write this down. Compare the same things in the same way. One more time, compare the same things in the same way. So do it like this. Whenever you set up a proportion, set it up based off of what you want. So I want the total and I have 36 women. So what I'll set up is I'll say, I am gonna say T for total divided by 36 women. So again, this is women here and here this is total. Remember, compare the same things in the same way. When I set up my proportion on the right side over here, 
That right side needs to compare total and women. You have to do it that way or else you risk getting the wrong answer. But even if you did make the mistake that I'm about to show, you can still get the problem right. You're good. You're good. So with that said, here we go. We're going to go ahead here and now include total up here. But where do I see total? Where is it? I don't see it, right? And the thing is, if we have three men for every two women, what's the total going to be? We have to put total here. We can't just throw the three in there. That's men. That's not going to give us the right answer. So here the total, if you have three men to two women, that is a total of five because three plus two is five. I think we can agree on that, right? And so that's why you would put five there because remember, proportions are all about comparing the same things in the same way. If I put total over women, I need total over women because that's the part for women right there. That's what we'll use. But notice, this proportion is nice and clean. We can absolutely use this to our advantage and have a good time. So with that said, my party people, this is how you would set it up. But I'm going to go ahead and show you after I solve this, the other way to, to do it um, in case you did make the mistake because there is a way to correct it. You just have to know what you're representing. So here we go. We have cross multiplication and division if you wanted to go that route. But I'm also going to suggest a different way. What I'm going to suggest is using comparisons, comparing the same things in the same way. Watch this. How do I go from right to left, 2 to 36? How do I do that? I hope we can see that that is times 18. I hope we can see that that's multiplication by 18. Because if we do the same thing with 5 over to the T, right to left, you're perfectly allowed to do that. Perfectly allowed to do that. And so all you need to do is 5 times 18, and that'll give you the answer. And so if you want to do that on the side over here. And here is your regularly scheduled announcement, my party people. Remember, guys, I host a free class every single week and more classes beyond that. So make sure to check the group tutoring schedule so you know when the classes are, when you can expect to see me live, so you can raise your score and get that job you want. So click there to see the schedule, and let's keep getting back to the YouTube video right over here. 18 times 5. You're going to get 8 times 5, which is 40. 1 times 5, which is 5, plus 4 is 9. 90 is the answer. So the total number of employees is D, 90. But remember, don't leave yet. I'm going to show you what to do if you went ahead and needed to, uh, or if you set it up incorrectly, and now you want to go ahead and figure out what to do. So what you would do is this. What we can do is, hey, look, let's assume that we accidentally put a 3 here. Let's assume we actually accidentally put that three there. Well, here's the thing. That three actually represents the men, right? And so we would put men right there. And so the T for total, that won't represent total. That'll actually represent men now. And so if you put whatever variable in there, that's going to get you the men. But let's go ahead and say, uh, let's go ahead and solve here. Uh, well, you know, you can cross multiply and divide, or you can do the same thing times 18 if you'd like to. Either way, um, I do have a few videos on this in our in our courses. So again, check out that link over there, asvab.info slash prep. But with that said, 3 times 18, watch this. 3 times 18, 8 times 3 is 24. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5. And so we have 54 men. We have 54 men. So that's not the right answer, right? Because we're looking for total. So even if you made the mistake, you can do this. We have 36 women, 54 men. If we add that together, we're going to get 54 plus 36. We get 10 here. We get 9, 90. We still can get the correct answer. Absolutely can still get the correct answer. And so that's what I want to show you, my party people. This is all about understanding the, the main ideas, really. If you're not understanding the main idea, then really what you're doing is kind of hoping for the best, that things will work out with some information that you memorized. But that's not what this is about. This is all about understanding what we're doing so we can build confidence and build speed. So one more time, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe here. But also, if you want to go ahead and join our classes, we have a free class once a week, every Monday. And we also have a full program where you can get all of the recordings, all of the extra practice, and access to me to get support all the way until you pass. And so with that said, my party people, I am Anderson, your ASVAP coach, and I'll see you next time. Let's ace the ass back. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. 
And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.